Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen, to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. You don't want to miss a video. I do a video every day. I'm right now currently doing a 365 vlog, so I will do one every day this year. I also do lots of cooking videos. I do live streams, uh, all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's just never, never a dull moment in my world. And y'all don't want to miss out on the phone, so make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, those of you that are coming back, thank you. I love you guys. It's good to have you here. So, chicken soup. I've been promising y'all this for about a week now. And I finally got it. So, earlier today, I went and did some shopping. There's a Dollar Tree haul that just went up on my channel. Y'all can go watch that. Make sure you check it out and you see what I bought. But in the process, while I was there, it said, you're out of memory. I said, okay. So, I had filmed about 45 minutes in the store. Got back here. I'm thinking I'll just take stuff off my phone, put it on my computer, I'll be fine. In the middle of the file transfer, my computer crashed, crashed my phone, my computer, everything, and I lost a lot of videos, including the first half of how to make this soup. I was not happy, not happy at all. So, here's what I did. I'm going to walk you through the first stages of how to do this, what you missed, and then I'm going to immediately cut to what I got, which is adding the water at the end and then what you do once it's all the first part of it's cooked. So I'm really super sorry you guys have lost the first half of this. I will do this again next time I'm making soup so that you can see it from the beginning. One thing I do want to note that you did not see in the beginning, what I did, I put, I used chicken thighs, uh, I used uh, six of them, I sauteed them, I did this in the crock pot multi cooker, same thing as an instapot, I saw, put it on saute, tiny bit of oil, just to brown the skins and create a little bit of fond at the bottom, and then I switched it over to soup, I added really rough chopped, I mean, in this first stage, everything you put in here gets thrown out, unless you have chickens or pigs or somebody to eat slop. You can give it to them. But for our purposes, I don't have all that, so it's getting thrown out. But leeks. I used one large stalk of leeks. And what you need to know about leeks that I did show you in that video, and I'm so sorry it's not here. You need to soak it. So I cut it into fairly, you know, pieces about this long. Kind of separate it. Put it in a big bowl of cold water. Let it soak for 20, 30 minutes. Leeks have a lot of dirt. They pick up a lot of dirt in between their stems and in between their layers. If you don't, then you're going to get sandy flavor and taste and you're going you're gonna to know it. So make sure you soak them really well. And when you take them out, don't disturb the water any more than you have to. I use my hands. I just gently start scooping it out because all of the dirt and sand will have fallen to the bottom of the bowl and you don't want to mix that back in. Okay? So keep that in mind. So leeks. Three cloves of garlic, uh, two little mini bags of, of mini carrots. You can buy like four pack of mini bags. I would say, I don't know, it's a handful of mini carrots. If you're buying just a regular bag of mini carrots, it's probably about half that bag. Okay. Um, so leeks, carrot, regular onion, three cloves of garlic. A tiny bit of salt. I did not put much salt at all. Maybe a quarter teaspoon of that. Some black pepper that I love. Uh, some parsley and celery. It all gets chunky cut up because, like I said, it's going to get thrown away. Don't spend a lot of time dicing and cutting. You do your celery, make sure you put the leaves too. You want the leaves. There's so much flavor in the leaves on your celery. Okay, make sure you put it in there. Uh, if you can cut it open and get to the core, all that core leaves, oh, really good so you put it all in the pot you cover it with water and now I'm gonna run the actual footage for you from the point of me adding the water again I apologize for missing the first half I feel so bad that you guys missed that but it is what it is so I'm gonna salvage it enough for you to be able to see it and you'll see me come up to the finished product and do it taste it for you too so and yes it is freaking delicious so Give me just a minute and I will upload the rest of the footage. All right. I got all this mess cleaned up. 
Everything is in the pot except water. We need water. There is a max fill line on here. Or from this side so y'all can see. Just make sure you don't go over that fill line. And it is enough to cover all of the veggies, as you can see there, down in the water. So, now, we are going to put the lid on here. Flip it to lock and make sure the steamer valve is in the closed position so that it will heat and we are going to push the soup button and start. It will heat up to the proper prep pressure and cook it for about 30 minutes and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. See you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Hope you're doing well. So, this is actually the next day. But by the magic of video editing, it's seconds for you. So, let me tell you what I did. I got this once it was done cooking. I let the pressure just release all on its own. I let it cool. I took it out. I deboned all of the chicken. As you can see, it's right here. I threw the vegetables out as I told you I would because they're just mushed by that point. They've cooked way too long. And I've chopped some fresh vegetables. I have same things. Carrots, onions, celery. These are my preferred. It's what I like in my chicken soup. You guys do what you like. I mean, if you like cabbage, if you like, you know, whatever, potatoes, if you, parsnips, turnips, whatever you like in your soups. Whatever it is you like, go for it. This is just my preferred. I'm kind of a classic onions, carrots, celery, chicken, noodles, what it is. So, I've got, my crock pot is now heating back up. I pushed the soup button, and the soup button actually is, let me get this out where it's ready. 30 minutes, but this is not going to take that long because the chicken is already cooked. All I need to do is cook the vegetables and heat this through. So I've turned it down to 25, 25 minutes. So now it's just a matter of putting all the stuff in here. So I'm going to put the chicken in. And I ended up with about three quarts of broth if you're, at, if you're curious. Veggies go in. Now I know some people like really chunky soup. By all means, do your vegetables a little chunkier than I did, obviously. If you, you know, it's all about what you like. And this is where I'm going to really spice it. Now, if you notice in the first original, when I first did this, I didn't put a whole lot of salt. I probably only put maybe a quarter teaspoon, if that. Because I know I want to use this. <laughs> this is my go-to for chicken broth and stocks and Caldo de pollo, which is chicken soup, but it's chicken broth. It's, it's like a bouillon cube, but it's in a powder form. You'll find this in the international aisles. This stuff is so, oh my God, it is so good. I use it in so, so, so many things. I use it as a spice. I use it as a seasoning. I use it in rubs. I use it in soups. I mean, there's, it's, it's endless. So... The only thing you have to be careful of, it's salty. It's very salty, which is why when I'm using it, I don't use a whole lot of salt. I tasted this broth. It has next to no salt in it, and that's a good thing. It's what I wanted. So I'm going to put a couple of really generously heaping teaspoons, maybe two and a half teaspoons of that, okay? I'm not going to add any extra salt, but I am going to add pepper. I love black pepper. So I'm going to go heavy on that. If you don't like that much pepper, don't. If you like white pepper instead so it's not going to show, go for it. This 
is the smoked garlic powder that Cher gave me. Mm, probably about half a teaspoon. Again, I don't measure. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just kind of guesstimating what these measurements are for you. So, you know, do it. Taste it. If you need to adjust it, by all means. This is the smoked onion. Which I absolutely love. And that's probably close to a tablespoon. And it's almost gone, chair. I need to learn how to make it. That's what I got to do. I got to do it. So, that's what's happening here. So I'm gonna put all that in there. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. And remember, the chicken's already cooked. All we're doing is cooking these veggies. And I did dice them kind of small. So I'm thinking I'm gonna restart this and I'm gonna back this down to 20 minutes. Maybe even 15. Yeah, we're gonna do 15. I can always put it back on if I need to. But I don't like I, I don't like mushy veggies. So it starts on 30. I'm going to back it down to 15. And again, I will let y'all know how the 15 works so you'll know whether you need to adjust it or not. I'm going to hit start. Everything's in here. The only thing that I'll have left to go in here will be the noodles. And that'll get done at the end. I'll cook them on the side almost till they're al dente. And then put them in here. Once this is done, I can release the pressure. I'll put them in here and just let them cook the rest of the way in the broth. So, lid on. Locked. Steamer vent closed. We are good to go, you guys. I'll bring y'all back when it's done and we'll taste it for you. See you in a bit. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Soup is done. I moved you guys over here because I've got a little bit more light over here. Let me. If you guys could smell this. Seriously. I am going to. Now, on the noodles, I don't typically make a whole lot of noodles for my soup because I found that if I go to reheat it later I end up with soggy noodles that end up yicky so I put enough in here for what I'm going to eat or maybe now and one more serving and I can always add more later right so let me tilt y'all down I'll give you a quick look at it and then we'll plate some up and I'll try it for you So here you go guys, chicken, carrots, celery, onion, yeah, that's the good stuff. Let me grab a bowl. I should have had one ready for you, huh? This is steaming hot, obviously. But man, does it smell good. So, y'all ready for this? All I need now is some crackers, huh? Ooh, this bowl is warm. Hold on, y'all. Put a pothole down there so it's not burning my hands. So. It is very hot. Mmm. That is so, so, so good, you guys. The chicken, the celery, carrots, the pasta, and it just... Perfect. And on a cold night like this, it hits the spot. I'm going to grab me some crackers and a glass of tea. I'm going to finish my dinner. Mmm. 
Seriously, y'all gotta try this. Seriously. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like these types of videos, cooking and what we're worth, even though I messed this one up and I lost half of the first half, which is quite a bummer to me, but if you like them, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to see more, that's how you do it. If there's something in particular you'd like to see me cook, leave me a note. If I can do it, I'll do it. So, y'all have a great night. Bon appetit. Bye, guys.